Hey guys, I found something in my house I thought we could look at. This is a probably 1950s air guide barometer and it sits up like that and there are holes in the back and in the bottom that let um, air get in there, let it feel the uh, atmosphere. And this barometer has a barometer, a temperature gauge, and a humidity gauge. And it's called Air Guide Barometer. So I guess everybody's probably familiar with just a thermometer. So this just gives you the temperature air temperature um, as it's coming through these holes so if you have it by a heater it's gonna be warmer but I keep it uh, in it's in a guest bedroom on a dresser it's not close to a heater so right now it's showing about 68 degrees that's probably pretty accurate because um, outdoors right now I think it's 34 Fahrenheit and then, so I keep the heat set. Well, usually I keep it lower than that, but it's the beginning of the winter, so I'm cold. <laughs> so it's a little warmer. Um, so that's the thermometer. And then this is the barometer. And I'm not going to try to really explain this because I don't know it all that well. Oh, look, you can see my phone. Whoa. <laughs> and my light, I think. Anyway, um, so this barometer, uh, the way a barometer works is it measures the air pressure. Now, there's a thing, I think you probably have one even on your phone if you look called in, I think it's called an altometer and that measures pressure in regards to like height so if you're oh, sorry climbing a mountain or a hill or whatever you can see your um, uh, altitude based on the air pressure but this you keep at the same altitude and it just measures the weather air pressure. And so right now it's there. So you can set this to wherever that red line is. So you can set it right on the red line. Now, if I wake up in the morning and the air pressure has fallen to here, that is like what they call mercury falling. <laughs> it's technically not, but it's like the pressure is falling. That means usually that bad weather is coming, like a rain or a snow. Or if it goes up, that means the barometer is rising, the pressure is rising. And so that would usually mean clear skies, less clouds. So wherever that red is, you can set it and then see if it goes up or down. In fact, it says right here, actually, it says falling barometer indicates threatening, rising barometer indicates clearing, steady barometer indicates no change. So that's how that works. And then this keeps track of humidity. I don't know if you guys can hear my heater it just came on and it blow, blows air. I just turned it on for the first time last night I think because it went down to uh, 32 degrees it was freezing cold <laughs> so I did turn it on but the heater dries the air out and also the colder air a lot of times will dry it out um, so if the humidity I think it's called relative humidity is less than about 55 it'll feel pretty dry pretty nice and dry but when it goes up 
like 55 to 65, then you'll start feeling some of the moistness in the air, especially if it's warm out. And then if it goes above 65, that's humid. That's like swampy, humid weather. Um, so like in Arizona where we lived, it could be 110 degrees or more, honestly, but the humidity would be very low. So if you went outside walking, as soon as you'd sweat, it just dries up. And so it keeps you feeling cool, it, or, or cooler, <laughs> because that sweat is just constantly drying off. But in Florida, it can be 90 degrees, but 80%. Well, let's say 70% humidity. And then it's just, you're wet. The sweat drips all over and it doesn't dry off. So you stay feeling hot. So that's why, even though it's hotter in Arizona, a lot of times you don't feel as hot. It'll, it's a dry heat, they say. But, um, but it's still hot. But I do remember like coming home from work, I'd work night shift in Arizona and coming home and I'd go walking after midnight. I'd go walking after midnight. And uh, because it would be cooler, so I'd do my exercise. And it would still be 100 degrees. And it would be coming off the pavement. But it did feel better than in the sunshine. And I remember walking and there'd be scorpions on the um, pavement when you'd walk the little tiny ones because they'd come out at night. And there was a black widow on her mailbox. <laughs> Arizona's crucial. Anyway, so that's it. That's the barometer and all its magical parts. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else about it. I'm going to give it a quick little clean off with my handy dandy Windex just because it's dusty. It's not bad, but really. I got out my uh, micro fiber cloth that we use for drying my car because it doesn't get dust. Yeah, I can't think of anything else really. About weather. It always makes me whenever the whenever this falls it always makes me think of a song. There's a song by Sting called Mercury Folly. I love that song. <laughs> but it's all about winter coming and his love left him and he's walking in the December with his collar to the wind. <laughs> it's a good song. I sing that, sing that every winter. It's on my way.